गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल सेट ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी थैंक द डायरेक्टर प्रोफेसर कर्नल महेंद्र सिंह इथी एंड अदर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी हेयर टू डिलीवर दिस लेक्चर नाउ आई लाइक टू इंटरक्ट विद स्टूडेंट दैट्स वाई आई कम हेयर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्टैंड देयर लाइक एन एलियन so i have come here because i am just like one of you i was i have also studied management and the only thing is now i am teaching so i like like to interact with my students and uh, what i do normally in my class is first i take an introduction so that i know their names so that if anybody is playing with a mobile or doing anything i can call that person but unfortunately we don't have time here i was told that here there is a mix of uh, students from bba and mba how many are from bba okay rest are from mba mba which semester first semester yeah this is what i was told so uh, earlier i thought i will start directly with trends in marketing but when i was told that the students are from first semester and from bba i thought many of you may not be very clear about marketing so i thought i'll begin with first fundamentals of marketing because it's a one and a half hour uh, long lecture so my first half will be devoted to making you understand the fundamentals of marketing and then after that uh, once you know i'll try to make sure that you understand what exactly it is not only knowing the definition and other things but try to understand it from a i mean manager's perspective and actually understand what it is because sometimes marketing is a term which is very misunderstood most of us don't know what exactly marketing is even i have seen students in fourth semester or even after doing mba if we ask what marketing is they just give me a bookish definition of kotler and others but when i ask them no tell me in your own words what marketing is then sometimes they fail to do so and this is one back uh, what should i say lacuna of our education system is that people uh, students have a tendency to mug up what is there in the book they don't want to understand they don't want to apply but whenever i teach this is my focus that i make students understand rather than they should be just mugging up the definition they should know what exactly what it is right so i'll be starting with fundamentals how many of you have read marketing none of you few of you okay so i'd like to be an in interactive session though it's a big class we don't have such big classes we have yeah ओके थैंक यू ठीक है आप लाइट्स थोड़ा ऑफ कर दें चाहे तो सो आई बिगिन विद फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ मार्केटिंग सो ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट बी नोइंग नाउ यू आर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडेंट्स दैट मार्केटिंग इज वन ऑफ द पिलर्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दे आर बेसिकली व्हाट आर द मेजर फंक्शनल एरियाज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एनीबडी व्हाट्स योर नेम तरुण कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट आर द फंक्शनल मेजर फंक्शनल एरियाज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट what are the anybody else anybody can raise your hand and answer please raise your hand first yeah yeah the the four major areas of management are marketing finance human resource and operations we also call it production so marketing is one of the major fundamental areas of management and what is management anybody anybody what is management yeah okay so you have touched upon a very famous definition of management that it is an act of getting things done by people anybody else what is management yeah okay so basically you are talking about the functions of management management is doing things in a structured way it is organizing a group of people i mean deals with planning organizing and basically you have all the people have come up together to fulfill a objective so all firms good or i mean uh, small or big they are uh, assembled for a uh, people have come up for a particular purpose the objective right so we have different types of organizations we have public sector we have private sector any public sector anybody public sector organization any public sector 
any i am saying name any public sector indian oil bhel ntpc there are so many what about private okay so we have organizations run by private organizations run by government then we have whole lot of organizations into different industries okay so there are lot many things let's begin first so let's start with now let me ask you let's come straight we don't have time to go into management and other things i've told you marketing is one of the important pillars so first let me understand from you as i said people have a lot of misconceptions about marketing so what do you understand by marketing anybody what is marketing one word customer satisfaction okay anybody else promotion okay what else profit maximization advertising promotion what else communicating and delivering value okay so you have idea about marketing so anybody else anything else in marketing only promoting yeah market analysis what do you mean by that knowing what are the demands okay right what are the demands of the customer what are the trends in the market so marketing is a whole lot of things many people have a misconception is that marketing is only selling nobody told me that marketing is selling but selling is a very important part why do we do marketing we do marketing because we want to sell a product but it is not only selling many people think that marketing is promoting but it is not only promoting and marketing also deals with distributing so what is marketing basically personal selling sometimes there is a door bell at a home a person comes he gives us a card i am a marketing executive i want to sell this are you interested so is he a marketing executive he is a sales executive sometimes we say we are going for marketing we use the word for shopping also sometimes we say we are going for marketing so marketing is a word which is sometimes very misused we don't it is not used properly and that is why people have a lot of misconception but you all are management students you should have don't have all these misconceptions so we feel that sometimes marketing is personal selling sometimes we say that it is only dealing with advertising it is making products available in the stores or maintaining inventories so what is marketing marketing is all these and much more so marketing is of course promoting marketing is of course delivering the product making it available seeing whether inventory is there or not so marketing is all this plus much more so what is marketing basically somebody said marketing is customer satisfaction who said that yeah she is very right in saying because marketer's perspective is begins with the customer customer is very important for a marketer so marketing more than any other business function deals with the customer so i have told you that there are three more areas finance is there does finance deal with customer what does finance deal with what does finance deal with company accounts what else in broad finance deals with the management of funds it does not have anything to do with customers right similarly what about human resource what does it deal with one by one please i will not be able to hear please raise your hands and then answer yeah please human resource deals with the manpower with the employees sometimes they are also called now internal customers i'll talk that later but human resource doesn't have to do with the external customers the customers we are talking about so similarly what about the other other functional area production what does it deal with it deals with the manufacturing of the products or the creation of the services we use the term operations now rather than production because production is only takes care of the products 
it does not take care of the services, so we use operations management now. But marketing is the only department, is the only functional area that deals with the customers. And customers are the most important. Why? Why are the customers most important for a company? Please raise your hands. Yeah. There will be no market. What do you mean by that? There will be no marketing. No? Can you simplify? Yes, please. Customers are the people who will be buying the product. They will be giving you money which you require to run the business. Right? So, marketing is the functional area which is very important. Those companies, you must have seen, some companies are, do very well. But after some time, we find that they are not doing so well. Let me give you an example. Whenever I used to start my class in marketing and I used to ask my students, first of all, let me ask how many of you own mobile phones? Almost all. Earlier, I used to ask which brand of mobile you are using, maximum number of people using which brand? What used to be the answer? No, I am asking previously. Nokia. Earlier, 70 to 80 percent used to have Nokia phones. Now, what is the scenario? How many have, no, have Nokia now? Very few. What about other brands? Samsung? Okay, good number. What about Apple? Okay, I am not going to ask now these questions because you will become conscious. But the idea is to give you that Nokia was the company which was doing very well. It had a very big market share. What is the market share? What is the market share? Anybody? Yeah? What is the market share? You have not heard this term? Market share. Yes, please. Yeah, if the total number of customers are there, how much percentage? I mean, most simple way of explaining. How many people and that is with, with respect to time, that is with respect to a place. The market share of India will be different for a product and of Delhi will be different. Maybe overall India, some other company is leading. But in Delhi, some other company has more market share. So, market share is the percentage of people who are owning that. So, Nokia used to command this space, had a maximum market share, but now we see hardly anybody is owning that. Why? Why? Tell me a simple reason. Yeah. No change of the technology. Change of technology, okay. No Any innovation. No innovation, okay. One, one, very, very simple, related with this. Anybody else? Changing preference of customer for a smartphone and for innovations. Nokia phone was very simple phone with the basic features. Earlier when mobile was invented, people only bought mobile for communication. It was a utilitarian product. People wanted it to just, I mean, uh, to uh, yeah, talk and have communication. But now what is happening to mobile? Mobile is no longer only a communication medium. It has become a status symbol. Now it is like a mini laptop you can see, smartphones you can do anything and everything, right? So, Nokia failed to understand this changing preference of customers and it take a, took a back seat. So, marketing is understanding the need of the customer, understanding the pulse of the customer. So, understanding more than any business function deals with customer, right? And if you put in a simple manner, what is marketing? Marketing is managing profitable customer relationship. Basically, marketing tries to build a relationship with the customer. And of course, if you want to be in business, you have to be profitable. So, managing business relationship profitably is called marketing. Most of the highly successful companies <coughs> know that if they take care of the customers, market share and profits will follow. So, all the companies which are doing well, they realize that if we keep our customers happy, if we give them what they want, then eventually profits will follow. So, they are not following profits, they are following customers and since they are following customers, 
they get profits eventually. So all great companies like Walmart, what is Walmart? What is Walmart? It is a big retail outlet. It was the largest, I mean occupied the number one position since many years in the Fortune 500 list. Which company has overtaken this year? Which company has overtaken Walmart this year? Yeah? Anybody? Huh? No, I am talking worldwide. No, Apple. So, Walmart was the number one company in terms of revenue and all. For many years, this year, Apple has undertaken, uh, I mean, given it, uh, a tough fight and it has come to number two position. What about IKEA? What company is IKEA? Furniture. Which co country does it belong to? Russia? Japan? Sweden? It's a furniture manufacturer. What kind of furniture does they make? Which you can assemble, right? There's a term for it. So, IKEA, Dell, McDonald, all these companies are doing very well because they take care of their customers very well. They understand. McDonald, what did McDonald do when it came to India? Yeah, it changed its menu as per the cultural culture of the country. It was the first country in India where it did not serve either beef or the hamburgers because of the religious cultural. So you have to adapt according to the culture. You have to understand the taste. You can't say, oh, this is our USP. This is what we are going to give. People will not eat because there is a religious cultural sentiment attached to it. Okay. So what is the definition of marketing? Some of you were stating this definition. So you can just revise it. A social and managerial process whereby individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating and exchanging products and value with others. So basically what is marketing? It is a social and managerial process in which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want. What is the difference between need and want? Need is necessity. What about want? Wait, let him, let him, let him answer. Yeah. Need is what? Necessity and want is desire. What is the difference between necessity and desire? Yes. Yeah. Unlimited. Need is something which is very basic because we are human beings, we have a need, we feel hungry, we feel thirsty, we have a need for entertainment, need for education. And want is, it is also a desire, but want for a specific satisfier. For example, a North Indian when he has breakfast, he is hungry, but he wants a paratha compared to a South Indian who wants a idli dosa. So that is a want. Need is the same. And want is also shaped by the marketing stimuli. Now Kellogg say, don't eat paratha, don't eat dhokla or dosa. You eat this uh, instant corn flakes because it is very good, it is nutritious, it is easy to make, fast to make. You don't have time, you have to travel so much. So it's becoming successful. Earlier it was not. So this is how you change. So need is basic. Want is backed by culture. It is also shaped by the marketing stimuli. That is advertising and promotion and other things. So basically, uh, what they need and want through creating and exchanging products and value with others. So basically in marketing, what happens? There is an exchange of goods and services. So when we talk about marketing, it is very broad concept. We don't, uh, companies don't only sell products, they also sell services. So we will be talking about that and value with others. So exchange, what is exchange? Exchange is that there should be two parties, both parties should be offering something of value, there should be ability to communicate the offer. So this is you are clear about exchange process basically. Now what is a market? 
market is a place where the buyers and sellers meet and the buyers may be actual they may be potential right so they are meeting in a place and these days you need not have a brick and mortar store what is a brick and mortar store yeah which has a proper tangible store you need to go so these days market is doesn't mean that you have to go to a proper store or a proper market but you can trade virtually also virtual marketplace what is that online, online. so lot of is things are happening like sir also talked uh, about the online markets that is the virtual marketplace you are not actually seeing the product you are not touching it you are just seeing it on the screen and you are buying it and th these days if you look at television 80% of advertising is by online stores whether it's amazon whether it's snap deal whether it is uh, flipkart or jabong or yapme and so on and so forth so many of them olx right even on radio every day i i i listen to fm this olx ad really very emotional kuch qeemat bhi kuch qeemti bhi have you heard that ad right so one friend was going is going for to study he doesn't have money though they used to fight so a friend he sells his phone and he buys a tablet for him and he gifts him on the farewell party and he is very emotional so that's the ad so market is a set of actual and potential buyers of a product these buyers share a particular need which can be satisfied through exchange and relationship so basically marketing exists with the need need is very important so definition of mar marketing once again it is a human activity directed at satisfying needs and wants through exchange products so exchange wherever there is a monetary thing involved there is a exchange you can also if you want something you can borrow from your friend you can steal from somebody but that is not marketing so for marketing to take place there has to be an exchange of value the buyer is buying the product the seller is getting the money so exchange is important simply put marketing is delivery of this already we have taken care of then this is a proper definition somebody was talking about planning organizing and all that so american marketing association defines marketing as a process of planning and executing the conception pricing promotion and distribution so these are the four major uh, functions of ideas goods and services so this is a marketing is not restricted to products it is marketing of services marketing of ideas what are services after sale service okay watching a movie what is it how is it different from a product it is intangible which can only be experienced unlike a product so services marketing is a image emerging area which i'll be talking later in the trends so marketing is planning executing the conception pricing from conception is conceiving the idea of the product marketing begins with before the product right sales starts with the product you have a product and you have to sell it but marketing starts prior to the product you ask the people what kind of product do you want what kind of shampoo do you like what color it should be what should be the smell what kind of bottle should be there and then you come up with a right product price it properly promote it make it available so that's the whole process of ideas goods and services to create exchanges that satisfy individual and organizational goals so individual goal is the person is benefited and organization goal is that organization is benefited it is profitable like we just saw that those companies who are taking care of the customer properly they are delivering them the right product at the right price they are making profits and those who fail to do so they will not be remaining in the business and we have seen that there are so many factors which make industries obsolete 
right time and again they are innovation somebody talked about innovation so how the mobile has changed over the years how the camera has changed over the years why all this happens because of marketing the marketers keep on realizing that we need to give a better product to the customers right so are you aware about the marketing philosophies the various philosophies of marketing i can skip it if you are aware of it why i am telling you this because this helps you to understand the process of evolution of the marketing concept how the marketing concept came because prior to the marketing concept there were other concepts are you aware about these philosophies yes what are these what philosophies are these okay yeah no not swot analysis okay so these philosophies are first is the production orientation so as i told you the marketing concept came much later prior to that we had certain concepts and philosophies which were existing the first one was the production concept have you heard of industrial revolution what happened there yeah mass production started prior to this goods were produced with hands or with machines which were not very developed so standardized products were not available or there was a paucity of products large number of products were not available and they were expensive so production orientation at that time this philosophy came called production orientation where the firm is focused on what it does best it is less concerned on customers needs here they did not focus on the need of the customer they focused on what they can do best what they can produce at the minimum cost and they can come up with mass production customers favor products which are available and affordable business concentrate on achieving high production efficiency low cost and mass distribution now the european world was in this philosophy in the 19 i mean 18th century but india uh if you look prior to liberalization india was in this stage when did liberalization take place 1991 the major liberalization new economic policy prior to that we had customers did not have much choice in automobiles you had the ambassador you had the fiat and then came the maruti so whatever was available and affordable people were buying they did not have a lot of needs and wants and variety similarly privatization had not taken place so whether it was the service industry or products you had very few choices in insurance sector which was the company over there lic now how many insurance players are there how many how many private players more than 20 how many which which aviation company was existing only the government air india but now you have so many options so at that time focus scooter mein bajaj hamara bajaj they used to be an ad very famous so india was in this phase of production orientation till the 1980s only when liberalization started and the government allowed private players and mnc's joint ventures then we had more variety and we focused on other things so this was the production orientation phase the uh, the european world was in the early 1900s this philosophy was existing so focus was not on the need of the customer focus on what was available and affordable people were buying those but gradually what happened people became bored with those products they wanted improvement in the product they wanted more features so came the product concept next one product concept focused on adding more features to the product again the emphasis was not on the need they had a product and they were trying to improve it they thought that if the product will be improved everybody will buy that product but again they failed to understand that people are not interested in the product people are interested in 
Ja? No? No. People are interested in getting the benefit from that product. They are interested in that particular benefit. I will give you the example. So, product orientation, this is very interesting. Please pay attention and sometimes it is confused with marketing concept. They, this philosophy believe that consumers will favor those products that offer the most in quality, performance and innovation. So, people were bored with that production philosophy because everywhere the same product, mass product was available. So, they wanted more improvement and companies came and started innovating product. Thus, organization should devote energy to make continuous product improvement. So, this was the philosophy of companies. They thought that they should devote all energy and money to improving the product. They thought that if we will make a better mouse trap, the world will beat a path to their door. Why is a mouse trap used? Do you use mouse traps in your homes? Why do we use mouse traps? To get rid of rats. So, are we interested in the mouse trap or are we interested in getting rid of the rat? So, this was the failure of this philosophy. They say if we make an excellent mouse trap, everybody will buy that. But they forgot to understand that people are not interested in that mouse trap. They are interested in getting rid of the mouse. They are interested in the solution. So, marketing is providing a better solution to the need, not improving the product. And that is why we keep on having these innovations. Earlier, there was a Walkman. Yeah? Who invented that Walkman? Which company? Sony. Who was the CEO of Sony? Who at that time? There is a person called Akiro Morita and he has written a book made in Japan. So, Japan we all know is known for electronics item. So, one day he was jogging in the morning and he was thinking that why can't I make my company make earlier you know the, the tape recorders and music system were very big. So, he thought why can't I make it so small and handy so that while I jog and walk I can be I can hear music and that is why he started working on it and he called it a walkman. When we were studying it was a luxury for us we could not afford. But now anybody has seen that walkman anybody uses it anymore? No. Because we have better things, we have iPod and now mobile is substitute for everything. So, this is what product concept failed to understand. And that is why one major marketer, he talked about the concept of marketing myopia. What is myopia? I am suffering from myopia. What is that? I use, I use glass to see far off distances called short sightedness. He says those people, marketers who are interested in improving the product, they are suffering from myopia, they are suffering from short sightedness because people are not interested in the product, they are interested in the solution. You give them a better solution, nobody will need mousetrap and that is why we have rat kill and all so many, so many. I do not know how good that is. Every product has some problem. You look at mosquito repellents, how they have changed. Yeah, initially we had Odomos, even Odomos is still existing now. But then good night came with that small tablet, it put it in that machine. Yeah, and then we there was a wire connected. Gradually all out came and that wire had gone and it became more advanced and the, the smell also should was there. And now Odomos is also now better, it looks like a cream now, that yellow is changed to white color. So, this is how companies innovate. If you remain stick to a product, you will not do well. You have to change. There is a term being used called disruptive technologies. Have you heard about that term? Technology which disrupts the existing technology. So, marketing myopia was this concept given by a very famous marketer. He came with an article in Harvard Business Review. His name was Theodore Levitt. Theodore Levitt sa says, that many sellers make a mistake of paying attention, more attention to the specific product they offer than to the benefits produced. 
this is the crux of marketing let me tell you they see themselves as selling a product rather than providing a solution to the need so this was how product concept differed from the marketing concept product concept focus more on the product while marketing said forget about the product think about a better solution so he says he gave an example in his article he says a manufacturer of drilling machine may think that a customer needs a drilling machine but what they actually need is a hole a company which is manufacturing drilling machine thinks that i am the best person and i am i'll be enabling a person to make a hole but he forgets that the person is not interested in a silly drilling machine he is interested in a hole if anything else can make it in a easier way he will not buy your product so he says that marketers were suffering from myopia they were focusing on very short sightedness short sighted approach so after production concept came this product concept till now the marketing concept had not come so this remained till around 1930s when there was a great depression and uh, there was a low uh, spending and all that and there were a lot of goods lying in the market which were unsold so then came the sales orientation sales orientation believes that whatever product you have you have to sell so at that time the scenario was that many products were lying unsold people were not buying there were word wars and things like that so they thought that the best philosophy is to aggressively sell the product jo aajkal hota hai aap drive kar rahe hote hain ghanti baj rahi hai baj rahi hai and then you stop your car and oh aapko loan to nahi chahiye and then you are so disgusted ye aapko ye credit card to nahi chahiye fala i said no i don't need please sorry don't disturb so they believe in aggressive selling right so based on the assumption they believe these people they thought that people will not be buying unless they are pushed into buying organization must therefore undertake aggressive selling techniques so again this philosophy did not focus on the need did not focus on the customer they focused on the product so from production to product to sales and now then came this is still practiced with goods like insurance people don't want to buy insurance but these days private players are talking about a lot of emotions like self respect sar utha ke jio jeete raho and all those campaigns so that people become emotional and they buy because nobody thinks are kya zarurat padegi hame insurance ki people think like that so sales orientation was the next philosophy which became dominant but again after few years people became disinterested they don't want to buy whatever be, was being sold to them so marketers realize now it is high time to think about the customer need then they realized about the marketing concept or the marketing philosophy which says that the justification for an organization's existence is the satisfaction of customer wants and needs while satisfying organizational objectives so they've now thought that if we satisfy customer needs and wants eventually we will be meeting our objectives if we don't think about that we will no more be remaining we will be all failing in the business and that is why companies keep thinking about better and newer products more convenient and safe products that is why innovation take place so what is marketing basically what is marketing have you understood what is marketing anybody what is marketing i have made you more confused what is marketing satisfying consumers coming up with a product which he needs rather than selling what is available with you right so marketing is thinking ahead thinking about the need of the customer thinking about the taste of the consumer and giving him that product pricing it promoting it and then selling it so marketing begins prior to the product 
even before the product is launched, it is produced. There is a lot of market research and R&D team and all. They develop a product after a lot of market research. But sometimes even market research fails. So basically the thing is that you should give the people what they want, what they need. So this was the emphasis of the marketing orientation. Unlike the product orientation which said that keep on improving the product. They say do not improve the product, think about providing a better solution to the need. And this was said very well by the CEO of Revlon. What is Revlon? Deals with cosmetics. They very well imbibed the marketing philosophy. He gave a statement. He said, in the factories, we produce cosmetics. Have you heard about this quote? He said, in the factories, we produce cosmetics. In the stores, we sell hope. In the stores, we sell hope. What hope they are selling? What hope Revlon is selling? Looking good, looking better, looking attractive. So people do not come to buy cosmetics, they are saying. They come to buy hope that I will be looking good, I will be looking young, I will be looking attractive. So this is what is marketing. Not selling a product, but selling a better solution to the need which is existing. And after marketing came societal marketing. This is the present, which I will be talking in also in the trends. So marketing was deciding about a good product which customer likes, pricing it properly, promoting it, distributing it. But in this race, some people, some marketers were forgetting about the society. They were using non-biodegradable pro products, packaging material which was polluting and lot of other things. So gradually they realized that we also need to take care of the society. And that is why the emerging trend is the societal marketing, which there is another name called green marketing. So organization's task is to determine the need and want of target market. That is the same thing, same definition is there, effectively and efficiently than competitors in a way that preserves or enhances the consumers and the societal well-being. That is, you have to carry on your marketing activity. But at the same time, you have to see that the personal well-being and the societal well-being is not being affected. That is, you have to come up with products which are not polluting. You have to do away with toxic products. We have to go for environment-friendly products. So firms have to make decisions in an ethical and socially responsible manner. And we have to practice what is called as green marketing. So this is the latest in marketing, emphasis on green products. So we will be talking about that in the trends. Any questions till now, any confusion, anything about marketing? So we started with the production orientation where focus was on availability. There were standardized products, then we moved to the product orientation where the focus was on improvement in the product, then we moved to the sales where the emphasis was on selling what was there and marketing focused on the needs of the customer. Marketing focused on the customer satisfaction. They believe that if we satisfy the customer, then only the company can do well. So all the company which you see on the top lists, they are doing well because they are catering to the customer needs in a better way. So societal marketing is there. Now before we move to the trends, there are some new changes which are happening. Let me tell you this is a very, very dynamic time and we are the generations who are stuck in between. Our kids do are expert than us in PowerPoint and other things. My daughter who is elder one who is in class 8, she laughs when she sees my PPT. She says, itna sara matter likh diya apne to. I kya karna beta, with this hum aise karte. You have no put no graphics, no sound, nothing. Like, beta, we are fine with this only. If we will make put so many graphics, we will get confused. So now the kids are being adept in technology. You must have seen that MTS ad in which the child is coming from the womb and is playing with the 
computer something like that so this is the generation i remember my days in the hostel i give this example in my service marketing class how services are changing it's not very long back but we used to stay in a hostel and at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock our parents used to give a time because there was only one phone in the entire hostel that was near the warden's room and the parents used to tell us say in write in a letter or say one week earlier they used to tell us monday this date at 9 we will call you so we used to wait revolve around that phone and there were five six others also all waiting to the ring of the phone and the moment somebody else's phone was there we used to say oh jaldi rakho bhai hamara aa raha hoga uh, and uh, busy ja raha hoga so the moment our phone used to come and we used to talk and now what is the scenario everybody has a phone forget about the middle class the lower middle class from rickshaw wala to pan wala to sabzi wala to dhobi wala everybody has access to phone now they will give you excellent home delivery are ye bhi aap bataiye to hum sabzi ghar mein pahuncha denge because their business is come under threat now you have localbania.com giving this full page ad and apna grocer and so many i mean abhi kuch din pehle tak they were none of them now you have so many so what is happening earlier we had so much difficulty in selling our old stuff old furniture kya kare kahan le jaye but now you have olx so click the photograph i tried this with my maruti alto i was sitting in a uh, in a hospital that they take so much time in waiting so i thought i have to get rid of this car i have to buy a new one let me try this olx so i had clicked the photographs earlier only from my phone only i put it in olx and the moment my turn came to meet the doctor there was a call are aapne maruti alto ka ad dala hai so i don't know i thought ki shayad maine female naam dal diya hai isliye log zara excited ho gaye but then i changed the name also <laughs> to my husband's name tab bhi calls aa rahe the but i eventually i did not sell on that but this is how things have changed from one phone per i think more than 200 girls to phone i think everybody has so this is how things have changed look at what is happening in the retail sector you have brick and mortar going to the store so many retail outlets and now you have this online thing so how you have to change as per the need and this is a very very important lesson for the marketers as i gave you the example of nokia if you will not change it will not take 5 or 10 years for you to be vanish you will be vanished or become extinct like dinosaurs right so these are some new marketing realities i'll just quickly go through them the reasons why things are changing one is the societal forces and today major and interlinking forces have created new marketing behaviors opportunities and challenges so on the one hand is opportunity i have seen even young people are becoming entrepreneurs people are doing mba working for 2 3 years and becoming entrepreneurs they are opening their own dot com ventures all these flipkart owners and snap deal owners they were just like iit guys and i am and then after a few years now they are multi millionaires why because these days what you need is an idea you don't need that much money earlier you need a lot of money to set up a factory and industry and other things but now if you have a good idea you have brain you become a partner and you open a venture so many interesting ventures are there you see so the interlinking forces have created new marketing behaviors opportunities at the same time challenges if you are able to leverage this change it becomes an opportunity for you if you are not able to do it it becomes a challenge you will not be surviving in the business earlier we used to have a say car for 10 years refrigerator which used to become an almira but we used to use it for 15 years but now what is happening we are changing our products so fast why there is so much of variety so consumer is really enjoying so may, these are the new realities changes in the social societal forces are there information technology digital revolution has led to more accurate levels of production more targeted communication more relevant pricing so the gone are the days of traditional advertising traditional advertising ab bahut kam ho rahi hai only for products like fmcg and all 
जो कि दे आर मास प्रोडक्ट्स पीपल आर कंपनीज आर गोइंग फॉर सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग डायरेक्ट मार्केटिंग दे आर सेंडिंग मेलर्स एंड अदर थिंग्स डायरेक्टली टू द कंज्यूमर सो दे इज मोर एक्यूरेट टारगेट कम्युनिकेशन मोर रेलिवेंट प्राइसिंग ग्लोबलाइजेशन ऑफकोर्स नाउ द वर्ल्ड हैज बिकम वन ग्लोबल विलेज यू डोंट फील सो आई मीन आउट ऑफ प्लेस यू गो आउट ऑफ इंडिया यू फाइंड द सेम मैकडोनल्ड सेम पिज्जा हट एंड यू आर रिलीफ्ड आई मीन वी वेंट विद स्टूडेंट्स टू अ ट्रिप टू जर्मनी देर इज एन एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम इन आर यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर टू थ्री वीक्स सो वी आर रियली आई मीन समटाइम्स वॉरिड वॉट टू ईट वॉट नॉट टू ईट सो मैकडोनल्ड वॉज आर सेवियर एवरी वे वी यूज टू सी मैकडोनल्ड वीज टू हैव दट वेज बर्ग सो इट यूज टू सेव अस सो एवरी वेयर इज द सेम यू फाइंड द सेम banks the same gyms the same everywhere i mean and we are hearing that uh, i mean we will be hearing we will be getting uh, all these uni foreign universities london business those they have already i think opened some branches here so now it's globalization no country is there without japanese cars and chinese food it is said so globalization is there deregulation countries have deregulated industries i was talking to you about the liberalization prior to liberalization what was the scenario and now what is the scenario you have so many options whether in products or in services earlier you had just those few options and you had to buy production orientation phase was there but now it is marketing orientation there are companies which are customizing the product products like computers and all so if you give them the configuration and all they will make it specifically for you so again if you remember prior to the production concept this was the era handmade products ka zamana tha aur ab kya ho raha hai fir se wahi ho gaya hai so we are touching that full circle ab jo designer products hote hain handmade they are very very expensive handmade purses and handmade they are into lakhs so this is how the things are again taking a full circle so deregulation has is a new reality heightened competition i don't need to explain this whether in products or in services any industry you look at you have so many players so many models every automobile company or mobile company is coming up i mean people are so confused also this is another uh, i want to buy a laptop my laptop has started stopped working i'm really confused which one to buy i think i'll have to take help from my students because they have more knowledge about it there's so many every every other day they have so many new launches new products and there are so many technicalities it is difficult for us to decide but the competition is really gone up <coughs> and these online players they give you so much discount 60% 70 amazon big freedom sale the flipkart sale which happened last year so they are giving you so much discounts so again the competition for these brick and mortar stores it has become a nightmare last year i was reading during diwali diwali is the time where all these consumer durables they have the maximum sale but their sale was very very less compared to earlier years because of these e-commerce companies so again the rules are being rewritten they have have to do really something and we are talking about a thing called uh omni channel omni channel is all channels earlier a company into a brick and mortar store was only into brick and mortar it did not have an online presence an online store like amazon was only into online but now everybody is moving into every other option because if you don't want to go to shopper stop actually you can just go to their website and buy it rather than going to uh, myntra or jabong you buy from their own website so this is an era of omni channel retailing in industry convergence lot of industries are merging due to technology so your mobile phone is not only a mobile it is a watch it is a time i mean a time table what should i say diary it is a uh, it is a mu gives you music it gives you uh, i mean it's like a computer also so many things are there watch camera yeah camera business it's really suffering because it's so easy and convenient to click 
and mobiles are coming with very high resolution and all you can click very good photographs. So the, industry, the camera industry really has to take note and uh, really they have to gear themselves up uh, to save them. So industry boundaries are blurring as companies recognize new opportunities at the intersection of two or more industries. Now industries are converging. The computing and computer electronics industries are converging like Apple, Sony and Samsung. They manufacture laptops to MP3 to plasma TV. So now people are not into one industry. They are converging and even products like you can, uh, uh, in TV you can do internet also. You can watch TV and you can connect it to YouTube and you can watch any program. So it is convergence of a number of in industries and I don't know what not is going to happen. Retail transformation. What is happening in the retail, organized retail? India till very recently only had 9 to 10 percent of organized retail. Now it is increasing. I was telling you about IKEA. There are so many other big retail players which are wait, waiting to come to India. Only because of the regulations, they are not a, being able to. Retailing in India is undergoing a major transformation. <coughs> Organized retailing is expected to grow to 14 to 15 percent. Due to this, the shopping behavior is undergoing a massive change. So every culture, people have different consumer behavior. India mein kya? Typical kya behavior tha? Used to, people used to buy on a daily basis because the shops are located very near. Or bahar kya hota hai? They go once and they buy the whole grocery and they go to Walmart and places which are away from the city. They get heavy discounts and they buy it. India also gradually this trend is coming up because of this retail revolution. And now this online thing is there which is again making things very, very difficult. And this intermediation is again that different types of uh, distribution options are there. Then consumer buying power, it's ever increasing. Consumer information, participation and resistance. I'm not taking them in detail. This is self-explanatory that the consumer has become very, very knowledgeable. Aapne wo ad dekha hoga na? No ullu banai idea ka. To usme yehi hai. Nobody can tell any lies. Whatever I am speaking, people can Google and search. Nobody can do that. Because everything is available on Google. In our time, we used to go to the library, collect books, make notes, used to do so much hard work. Now, there is no assignment. Even kids, Google it. So, I mean, it has become so easy. Information is available at the click of a button. So the buying power, the participation, as I was saying, people are wanting customized products and resistance. They will not accept anything now. You cannot give them a shoddy service. You cannot give them a bad product because they have all the information, what others are giving, what is the, how are they pricing, what are their features, everything is available. So this is how things are happening. So as I say, there is a challenge for the marketers, but at the same time, this internet also can help the marketers, it can provide them with certain capabilities. So it can give more information, they can tap into social media to amplify the brand message. They can set ad, coupons, samples, they can reach customers on the move with mobile marketing, they can make and sell individually differentiate. So, internet is a big tool which of course creates challenges but at the same time it provides the marketers with new capabilities. So, this was the first part of basically fundamentals. Yeah, one more two slides are there. Four P's, I also wanted to touch that. So, you all know four P's? Yeah, yeah. So, marketing basically I told you is understanding the need of the customer, coming up with the product and pricing it, promoting it and selling it. And basically a marketer has four tools which are called the marketing mix. We have the product, we have the price, we have the promotion and place. But what new I want to tell you is that from the perspective of the customer, 
it becomes the four C's. Product is the customer solution. Mind you, people are not interested in the product, they are interested in the solution. They are not interested in price, they are looking at the cost, how much it is costing them. Promotion, place is nothing but convenience. So, these days we are not talking about the actual place, we are talking about the virtual place. Convenience, 24 into 7 availability and promotion is how you are communicating to the customer. So, these are the 4 P's of marketing which are very important and one last slide about the fundamentals of marketing part, plea from an anonymous customer. This will give you an idea, again talking about the marketing perspective, a customer says do not sell me clothes sell me a sharp appearance, style and attractiveness, do not sell me a house, sell me comfort, contentment, good investment and a pride of ownership, do not sell me toys, sell me children, happy moments, do not sell me insurance, sell me peace of mind and a great future for my family and me, do not sell me books, sell me pleasant hours and profits of knowledge, do not sell me computers, tell me the pleasure and profits of the miracles of modern technology. So, if the marketer understands what the customer is looking for, you all are going to be marketers. So, when you will be marketing for your product, you have to understand this plea from the customer what he is looking for. He is not looking for the product per se, he is looking for a better solution, he is looking for the end which he wants to get. So, this part was basically about the fundamentals of marketing. Now, I will be telling you some in very, very brief some new era uh, things which are coming in marketing, though I have touched upon some of them in the discussion also. So, we have around 15 more minutes and then we can have some more interaction. So, we will talk about some emerging trends. First is services marketing. So, when we talk about the product, we say that it is something tangible. But we see that everywhere around we have services, right? And services are very different from products. So, we cannot utilize the same concept which we have for products, but for services. What is a service? A service is any act of performance that one party can offer another that is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything. Its production may not be tied to a physical product. So, if you buy a car for yourself, you own it, you take it home, but if you hire a taxi, that it, taxi does not become yours, you just pay for the rent for the time you have spent and you just get down. So, if you are buying a car for yourself, what will you look for? What will you look for? Features, comfort. What else? Average. Average, price, what else? Brand, Brand. 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 design, design. color, na? but when you are hiring a taxi, will you see these so all these things? You will only see per rate, kitna hai, comfortable, honi chahi, reliable, honi chahi. or jaga honi chahi. airport ja rahe hai, to badi wali gaadi honi chahi. innova and all, space. So, the behavior differs when we buy a product, when we buy a service and services are intangible, they are experiences. So, if you want to watch a movie, whatever your friends may have said, jab tak aap dekhenge nahi, you will not give your judgment, tab tak aap nahi keh sakte kaisi hai, chahi jitni bhi rating mil gai ho, 3, 4, because it is very relative thing. You are a fan of Salman Khan and so and so, you will like the movie very much even it is a bakwas. <laughs> but if you are not a fan, you like other different type of movies, you will not like it. Unless and until you will see, you cannot judge it. So, this is the difference between products and services. Then services are highly perishable. Ek din, one particular day, your product is not sold because of rain or any other thing. You can sell it next day. What about a service? If a flight takes off with has a hundred seat, fifty remain unoccupied, can these unoccupied seats be used next day? When they are 120, uh, 150 passengers? 
No. It's highly perishable. And there is a mismatch of demand and supply in case of services. So services marketing is coming up in a big way, in a new, because of the characteristics of services, the growing importance of services, and the challenges which marketers face in services marketing. So we have a whole range of services from healthcare to professional services, financial services, hospitality, travels, etc. Others, from hairstyling to press control to plumbing to counseling services, health clubs, theme parks, ski resorts, so all these are services which are intangible which are perishable and their consumption is not tied to a physical product. We use it, we avail it and that is all. So this is a new era, emerging era in services marketing because we cannot use the same tools. In fact, the marketing mix also, they are not